17th, I celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I'm one of those people who just can't, if I see cruelty, I go bananas. It's a very important day for us because March 17th, 1982 was the day I adopted my daughter Ruth. So if I see like an animal that's like injured or something, I, I just, I try to save it. Um, there were infertility problems. I will not stop until it's like either saved and I found it a place or something. So I went to a Jewish child care agency. Like five or six kittens in a box, just born. The social worker said, I think we have a child especially for you. So we tried to nurse them, save them. And unfortunately, they didn't live all, all that long. She, uh, was born with a disease called Fanconi's anemia, which is a pretty um, devastating disease. I mean, we might have kept it, even though I was, I was kind of allergic to cats and stuff like that. And here was this baby who looked like a baby Bo Derek with blonde hair out to here, bright blue eyes. But I managed to save a dog's life and looked at absolutely everything in the room. Smiled at every smile. A little dog, he needed surgery and everything, so we had we made sure he had surgery and stuff like that, and we sent him to a, a, a family. I knew that there was a spark of the eternal. It's easier to talk to animals than it is to talk to humans sometimes, to, for me because I'm different. I believe, and I've told my daughter this, you were born biologically of different parents, maybe to teach them something, but then he put you where you belong. As any divorced mother with one child, I think the most important thing, the most important blessing you can have is a child that you're going to live with who you actually get along with. We like to be with each other. We know the other person is different from us and recognize, we both recognize the value of each other. And then I think that's what makes our relationship so special. She's a very fun person. Ruthie is a very uh, willful, opinionated, strong, four foot, six inch, 27 year old woman. But every two weeks I've got a drum set at my father's garage. I think that the toughest experience I've ever had with Ruth was when she was almost nine years old and we were in Paris. People who play drums for some reason, they don't, they get less men. And we were waiting for the new bone marrow to graft. Like all their, the energy that, that when they're mad and stuff like that, they get it onto the drums. And she said to me, I want the truth. Am I going to die here? I think that that was probably the worst moment in my life. It's like, beat the drums till you can't stand it anymore. I told her, I don't really know. But I believed that God didn't take her this far in order to kill her in Paris. All your worries are disappeared and everything like that. Oh, thank God she's here, you know, 18 years later. If you believe as I do that um, you're brought to Earth as a sentient being to repair the Earth, then what does repair mean? I met a girl when I was like 18 in Washington. Adopting an older child, adopting a child with handicaps. It's huge in the way that it um, re repairs one of the holes that's in the universe. We emailed a lot and stuff like that. 
uh, and we were at, at the beginning we were the two oldest uh, Fanconi anemia patients. My daughter is my Rebbe. She brought God into my life on a everyday concrete level. The only the problem is now I'm the only one, the oldest left. She's also brought God into my life with the realization that there is no imperfection in the world. I, I take it day by day, kind of. Ruthie may have four fingers on each hand, and that hand's perfect. I'm only human, except me for, for who I am, and, and that's it. There's no conceivable way that this child would have been loved less. Because I've loved this child with my whole heart. So I know it. Yeah.